about to be turned, righted back over. Shape also to get in underneath Sir Chrome a lot. But the body shell, we've seen the whip come down again. From Brighton, Big Bro is watching you from behind mild steel armor, the weaponry, a steel whip with chain and wrecking ball known as a morning star. Wakey, wakey! It's Susie and Watts, and that's Wayland. And it's called Big Brother. These are the deadly spikes. And they'll spike the other robots. And Big Brother, Ian, Little Joe Watts, and Three, Wayland Twiston Davis. Two, one, activate. Oh, tremendous start there by Grim Reaper, straight on the attack. No spluttering or a coughing of that engine. Straight into gear and attacking Big Brother. Grim Reaper, though, very dangerously near. Sergeant Bash, a real South Coast derby, this. The team from Brighton, Big Brother, and Bob the Regis, Grim Reaper, being chased across the floor of the arena there by Bash. Underneath goes Big Brother, and very dangerously towards the pit of oblivion. Big Brother, what on earth were they doing there? Ian Watts, I bet little Joe had words with him. Back comes Grim Reaper again, spinning away. Look at that tight curve there once again. Very small turning circle, only six feet. Grim Reaper has lost a wheel. The wheels come off, slamming them into the back of Big Brother. And the wheel comes spinning off and no time for a pit change here. That's really stupid driving. Grim Reaper again on the attack. Top of the picture there you saw one of the house robots and kill a lot you see can come out of it. CP said the tackle, it's burning in there. Big Brother, smoking away from the flame torches from the arena walls. Has that immobilised the engine of Big Brother? Grim Reaper being flicked up by Gillilock, he's turned over. Well, I'm sure that's immobilised. Who's alive? Oh, is there a little Cease. flip of the tail by Big Brother there right at the end? But it'll go to the judges, and who goes to Boot Hill? Monster Metal Mayhem at its mightiest. We have a judge's decision. On damage and aggression, the winner is Big Brother! <laughs> Controversy all around! Did you do the design? Yeah, I was hoping it would be something like Sonic and it had a head that can pop out with spikes. That could pop out with spikes. Yeah, it jumps out mm -hmm. and goes back on. But instead, you got this. Yeah. Oh dear, I am sorry. What happened? <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry. What happened? Oh, it's, no, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. He's crying now, Joe. You've upset me now. Oh, it's all right, isn't it? Don't laugh. <laughs> you can have that. You stick it on yours because you know you're better. Big Brother with its morning star weapon. Little Joe there up in the cherry picker with Dad Ian. And there's Sir Chromalot. And they've been great fun, haven't Three, they? Steve Merrick, Steve Smith and two, Dave Whitehead. One. Super entertainment. And off we go. With the first of tonight's second round clashes. Sir Chromalot immediately on the attack. That shell made from a truck alloy wheel hub. The morning star flailing away there. The wrecking ball on the end of the steel whip and chain. It's got a wedge shape also to get in underneath Sir Chrome a lot. But the body shell of the Knights of the Realm, if you like, can raise and fall to counter the attack of a thrust from a wedge. There's dead metal coming into the frame. There on the top of your picture to the right in the CPZ. Sir Chrome a lot spinning. Not a lot of damage being caused. The, well, the flame torches won't, I think, cause any damage. And Sir Chromalot's up and rolled over! And I don't think they can recover from there. In goes Big Brother. And it teeters and topples and falls. And the pennants on the arena floor. And little Joe's delighted. And look at Big Brother here. 
They're already celebrating victory and dead metal. About to come in for the kill. As Big Brother steers away. One smash from Shut. Now, he's got to be careful here. They want a little bit of luck. They want perhaps to be turned right it back over. But if they can grind through the base of Sir Chromalot, the house robots, it could be finished. Sir Chromalot needs Sir Lancelot and King Arthur and the rest to come in here for the rescue. Ooh, just slicing through the frame. Pit, pit, pit. I think the crowd are calling. And the main job now for Big Brother is just to steer away from all this trouble. Ah, oh, they know where they're going. They know where they're going. Avalon, Camelot, no, Sir Chromalot. Not a lot left. And then you go into the pit. Drop a lot, and away you go. And now the house robots will close on Big Brother and try and inflict some damage, a little bit of revenge perhaps for them. Big Brother, of course, will go through. And it's go, go, go for Little Joe. Well, well, well. Chromalot get that sinking feeling. And you'll be watching Big Brother in the next round. Big Brother, go through. Joe, come here. What have you got to say to them, then? Bad luck. <laughs> Bad luck, yeah. Well done. Well Shake done, hands. Joe. Done a great job. Well done. It was them that ended up in the pits, wasn't it? You said we would. Didn't you? Yeah, because it's the much lightest robot can get the fastest robot can and push the lightest one in very fast. So and that is the theory of Robot Wars, according to Joe. Now, if you'd listened to that in the first place, right, you wouldn't right. be losers now. No. It's all going very well. He tried to push in the, a house robot. I know. I know I he did. So. Cheeky. Is <laughs> he always that cheeky? <laughs> I wonder where you get it from. <laughs> Dad. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> there we have Big Brother with Joe Ian Watts and Waylon Twiston Davis and Ultor with the Three, Golder family, two, Roger and son Barnaby. One. Barnaby steering curiously, and it's Big Brother on the attack. And little Joe has been the hero of the heat, hasn't he? Really, he's caught the imagination of everyone in the arena. Dad Ian in control, though. His hero's Michael Palin. His ideal job, he wants to become a beach bum. There, Big Brother flailing in with the morning star. Caught, though, on the spike of Altor, who could drag here Big Brother towards oblivion. If they play it right, no, they let Big Brother get away. And could rue that now. There you see the, the morning star spike caught. It pulled in, almost flipped up and over. Then here is where Big Brother just gets away. On the attack again. A heat final. Replacing the series semi finals. Heave ho. Push and shove. We've seen the whip come down again from Big Brother. Oh, it is gone! The whip's come off! Look at this! That Big Brother in real trouble! Ooh! Off comes the flail! And now they have no weapon. Maybe the front sort of scoop ram there to get in underneath Altor. But this is a real chance for the Golder family here. Altor on the attack with the axe powered by the lawnmower motor. And the main chance for Big Brother is to get Altor perhaps onto the big flipper there you can see on the arena floor or into the house robots. As long as Altor stays out of trouble here, they could have won this one, and it would be a surprise. Poor little Joe could be left in tears. Would we want to see that? I don't know. Altor pushing Big Brother around. And remember, I wonder if Big Brother has an even bigger brother to come back against Altor. Ultimately, one day, perhaps in a dark and robot wars alley, an Altor very nearly in trouble off the arena spike. Turns away beyond that flail, now just a tattered remnant of Robot Wars brutality on the floor of the arena. 
In comes Big Brother again to try and flip Altor. But for me, and it'll go to the judges, I think the damage caused for the Big Brother team and Little Joe could be too grievous. Well, both the robots were still mobile at the end of that epic battle. So while we wait for the judges' decision, let's look at some of the fighting again. Well, it was all about the chain and flail, the morning star. Bang on Altor. In comes the Altor spike. Almost dragging Big Brother over after Morning Star had got itself tangled up. Big Brother, that's good control to get away, but you see the damage. Whether it was self-inflicted, I don't know. Who's won this one? Altor wins on a judge's decision. You can't get closer than that. Forget about bullfighting and those brave matadors, because we always see red on Robot Wars. Bye-bye. What happened then? Tell me. Um, I'm afraid we lost. I'm afraid you lost as well. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Yeah. You wouldn't give me a cuddle, would you? <laughs> <laughs>